Hi, my name is Devin Nagy. I'm Katrina Van Coon, otherwise known as KVK. Hey, my name is Lisa Lee. My name is Dutna. My name is Wintana Pujad. My name is Janine Dooley. I'm Jody Samuels EK. My name is Claire McKendrick. Hi, my name is Laurie. My name is Gatonga Feori. I'm the co chair of the AHEAD BRG in North America. AHEAD is the African Heritage Employees at the Yajo BRG. We have a lot to be proud of in F21. I want to highlight two initiatives that we're very, very proud of. The first was the creation of the North America Inclusion and Diversity Strategy. The strategy is innovative and reflective of the time that we live in. In addition, AHEAD was at the center of creating the concept of endowments to historically black universities. Those two initiatives are historic milestones and we leave a lasting legacy of inclusion and diversity at the AJU. I'm part of the Reconciliation Action Plan Working Group here in Australia. So what is reconciliation? It's all about strengthening relationships between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and non-Indigenous peoples for the benefit of all Australians. And as a proud Wadjuri woman, I'm really glad to be part of this journey. The vision that we're developing for reconciliation will embrace the First Nations idea of country and cultural healing. I'm one of the co-chairs of the Pan-Asian Network in North America. And um, one of the things I'm most proud of from Pan recently is our commitment to acknowledge and support the impact that COVID-19 has had on um, the Asian American community. Um, last year, we focused our May Asian Heritage Month activation around creating a connected virtual community where we could learn and support one another during these trying times. I lead the We Are All Label program here at Shield Hall in Scotland. This group drives a better understanding of disability through education and we've also developed six month internships at Diageo and I'm delighted that we've had three people through this program already. The program focuses on what is the world's largest minority group and as a result that touches almost every one of us. I've been a member of the North American Rainbow Network since it began for almost 17 years. Being a part of a BRG makes my world at Diageo bigger and I have so many fond memories from launching the Smirnoff Love Wins bottle to epic happy hours but my fondest memory is last year's global virtual pride celebration. COVID was not gonna rain on our parade. I'm representing REACH, Diageo's Employees Resource Group for Race, Ethnicity, and Cultural Heritage. I'm really proud of the work that REACH has done to raise a positive voice for diversity through programs like The Talk and Reverse Mentoring. I'm a member of Ateke, the spirited women's group of Ethiopia. Ateke means empress, and we chose this name because we want to celebrate, inspire, and empower our women and have them all believe that we are all leaders in our own right. What I'm proud of is the work that we've been able to do over the past few years to celebrate our women by calling out their achievements at work as well as at home. I'm one of the leads of REACH UK and Ireland. What am I most proud of? I'm proud that as an ERG, we continue to educate, elevate, and empower our members and allies across the business. But most importantly, we form genuine friendships within the group. I'm really proud that we have a UK trans and non-binary guideline or policy, which enables us to engage, include our trans and non-binary employees, as well as attract the great talent that's out there. I lead the Spirited Women's Network here in Diageo, India. We have recently launched an exciting new mentorship program. 60 women map to 20 different mentors who are going to help them out on career progression, work-life balance advice, and anything else they, that they might need. I am one of the founders of the Veterans and Friends of Veterans Business Resource Groups here at Diageo North America. We were founded to make Diageo a more inclusive place for veterans and for those who care about veterans like me. I am always proud of the way we come together around Veterans Day with the Purple Bag Project and the way we show support for veterans here in North America through sending care packages to those serving overseas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.